Hey what's up guys, it's Kazooie here and welcome to episode 35 of Skill Into Glory and we are actually very very close to the end of all the silver 5 star skillers. We're actually going to be making a squad around the second to last 5 star skiller which is going to be a Brazilian right winger once again it is going to be Wellington Silva but first as you can see we already unlocked Aldosari and probably a lot of you guys may be a bit confused but we actually packed him quite early on in the series and when we pack a 5 star skiller in the series that means we don't have to unlock him. So we move over to Wellington Silva straight away, uh, we move to the challenges, the first one is score 7 goals with Wellington Silva, the second one is score 7 skill goals, the third one is score a blank hop plus a volley goal 2 times, the fourth one is score a fancy goal which can be a back heel or anything, uh, the fifth one is score a free kick 2 times from any distance and the sixth and final one is win 7 games. So those are all the challenges. Challenges. Once we complete all of them, we will move to the final five-star skiller, which will be Elton. And uh, now we're going to move on to the team. And this time I decided to go with the 3-4-3 formation. The formation which you can include a lot of five-star skillers. And that was obviously my aim. You can see it from the team. Uh, we start from the back, though. We got a Russian goalkeeper. I'm not going to try to pronounce his name, but he looks pretty good team this season. Uh, then we got another player with a really difficult name, Kverk Velia or something. He's really tall. He has 80 pace, so he looks amazing. Then we got Felipe Santana and also team this season, Jardel there from uh, Benfica. Looks like a pretty solid defense, in my opinion. Um, that is the right mid. We have the first five-star skiller in Kelvin, the FC Porto version. Um, as a center mid, we have Axel Wies so a four-star skiller, more of the defensive kind of player. Like, I really want to make a strong midfield, but the Russia League, like, doesn't really have the most amazing uh, players. But I think uh, Witzel and also Noboa, the team season version, actually uh, look pretty good. Hopefully, they will uh, do a good job for me as well at this team. Uh, there is a left mid. We have Fido Martinez. He actually surprised me a lot when I uh, made a team around him. Actually, really, really liked him. I scored quite a few goals for me as well. Uh, then we got the left winger in Michael Arroyo. Used him a bunch of times already in Skill into Glory as well. Hopefully, he can, uh, he can play really good as well in this team. Then as a striker, we have striker Hulk. As you may know, he usually is a right winger. But um, EA decided to release a striker version of him a couple months ago. And he looks pretty awesome. And then the right winger, it's the player that it's all about. That is, of course, Wellington Silva. I played 29 games with him. And only scored four goals and got four assists, which is not a lot. Hopefully, he can do a lot better in this team. It's very attacking. Hopefully, he can score a lot of goals. I do know, though, that I'm probably going to make a lot of mistakes, like, with my defense and stuff. But hopefully, I can make it up with, like, cool goals and stuff. Because that's how it usually kind of goes when I use this formation. But anyway, the two kits I decided to go with are from FC Porto and I think Sao Paulo, the Awaken. And then we jump in what will be the first game of the episode while we come up against a pretty strong looking hybrid side with Team the Season Buffal, a really, really awesome player to uh, to actually look at. Like, stats-wise, he looks pretty cool. Still yet to try him. I think he goes for like 90k or something, so I'm definitely tr gonna try to pick him up soon. And he started off with Buffal actually getting the first chance of the game, a good save for my keeper there. Uh, then the 14th minute, the scoop turn then from Arroyo, playing it on through two hole, cuts in there with a the fake shot, goes with some step overs, and then he gets a shot and off a deflection, and it actually went in, and you can see as well from the replay, like, I think the goalkeeper should have saved it, but you always see it like with deflections and stuff, the goalkeepers tend to act really weird, but anyway, we do take the lead in the game, man. 64th minute in the second half, we got another chance and with Wellington Silva, the first proper chance with him, unfortunately though his goalkeeper saved it. Then we got a pretty weird shot in here with Hulk, I actually managed to score one of those the other day with I think Hulk as well, so I figured I would try it again, unfortunately though this one just went over the crossbar. Uh, then a few minutes later we got another chance with Wellington Silva, not really the greatest shots, but pretty nice skill run with him. Uh, then 84th minute, look at this, I tried to do a fancy pass with Witzel to one of my attackers, but then he did a scoop pass kind of. And then I just completely gave away a chance. Really, really lucky though that he actually uh, ends up hitting the post because that probably would have been a goal if he actually managed to get a shot in with one of his strikers. Uh, then we got a shot in here from a free kick with Hulk. Unfortunately though, it went off the crossbar and that is basically how the game ended. So not really the most interesting game. Like we got a couple chances in this game and that was about it. We, uh, we got a pretty lucky goal as well. So again, not really the most exciting game. Then uh, we move on. It will be the second game and last game of this episode. And we come up against a legend, uh, Patrick Kluivert. And this guy was also a subscriber, I do believe. And as you can see as well, at the start, he also decided to do some skill moves with the brown. That ends up in the crossbar. A really, really nice shot. And he, like, set a lot of pressure on me the, the first couple of minutes. Where he gets himself another chance with Kluivert. A nice fake shot to turn around. A good save there for my keeper. Uh, then a few minutes later, we're still early on into the game there with Arroyo, I think. Played it on through to Noboa. A little 
little drag back there to create some space. And then a really, really nice play there all the way to Hulk. I go with the fake shot there and I probably should have gone with either a blank or hop or just pass it off to Wellington Silva. But I decided to take the shot because like I just didn't know what I had to do basically. I just took a little bit too much time to think at this point. Then uh, we move on there. We get another chance here with Hulk after a nice scoop there. And then we get a header in there with I think Wellington Silva just went wide. And the remaining minutes in the second half, it was mainly us creating the chances here with Fido Martinez as well. Again, a really nice play there with the three of those players on the left-hand side. And we get a shot in here with Arroyo, which seriously was one of the worst attempts I've ever taken on goal. I know it was with his weak foot, but that shot was seriously so, so bad. Anyway, we continue on 40th minute, another chance this time with Wellington Silva. Pretty nice skill run, cutting in here with the Bolasi flick, two-way volley, and we smash it in at the near post. Picking up the first skill goal and also the first goal with Wellington Silva in total. So a uh, nice way to actually end the first half. Uh, then we jump into the second half, we're only a few minutes in, and this Arroyo there going on a skill run as well. Nice combo there, fake drag back to beat the defender, cuts in there, goes with a Rabona cross, trying to reach for Hulk. I was hoping for sort of a Baku shot or something. Couldn't really get a proper shot in, I'm afraid. Uh, then we move on here, 58th minute on the counter. My opponent went on the attack as well. I had the ball there, I tried to clear it away. He did a slide tackle and then this happened. Connection has been lost with your opponent, which seems to happen a lot. I know it was not a rage quit because this guy actually asked me after the game if I decide to leave. So I knew it straight away that the EA server just completely acted up again. But uh, for the next episode, I will count it as a rage quit though. Uh, because like I can't really count it as anything else. So in the next episode, I will be applying attribute card to uh, Wellington Silva. But anyway, guys, that's going to be the end. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then make sure to leave a like. It would be very much appreciated. So I'd like to thank you very much for watching, and I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.